Ahoy mateys, I'm Captain Bumbles and today I'm playing some more Star Trek Online and let's get you up to speed. There's my, uh, wrong button, in my current mission, we're here to investigate the intelligence working on the crack coded sent by the rain agent exposed to the badam, and we think we have something. There are several references to the Pulselon Nebula in the data. This is the area of space near the Lackey system, and we don't know much about it. Starfleet needs you to survey the nebula and find out why the Undine have find an interest in it. Be careful, the Enterprise D was in that in the area and reported that the composition of the clouds may screen opponents from your sensors. Oh, we're here. Um nice beautiful sun. Hide and seek. Hmm, are we looking for somebody or are they looking for us? Hide and seek. Let's see. Sir, we received a distress signal from the USS Valor. They're under attack by Gorn and their shields are failing. Captain, we can't, they can't take much more. Okay. Uh, Ford and Post. Boom, boom, full torpedo yield. Let's drain those shields. You don't need those. They got under us, but we'll eventually have torpedo lock on. Get around here so I can shoot torpedoes at you. There we go. That's that's last. We should check on the valley. Okay. Explosions. Thank you for the assist. Our ship is on a mission to map the Pulsan Nebula. Unfortunately, we failed to adequately compensate for the power drain the nebula had on our engines. We retreated from the nebula to make repairs. That's when we stumbled upon an illegal Gorn mining operation. Hmm. Pretty simple. The Gorn didn't take that well. If you hadn't shown up when you did. We'd be sucking vacuum. Our chief engineer says there's no way we can make it back to a starbase. In fact, without new dilithium crystals, we're stuck. Sounds like we arrived just there are in time. crystals on some of the larger asteroids here. That's why we headed for this location in the first place. If you could gather some crystals for us, we can make it to safety. Send All right. us a hail if you have any questions about the nebula. We would be happy to share our data. Okay. Oh, I can see the, uh... Eh. Alright. There's one straight down. Oh, I see it. I understand, where is this? Okay. 
Come from down under. What say you? What the hell? Oh, shit. Okay, now we're on our level. Now let's take those shields. Torpedo high yield. Then we need to back off a little bit. We did something ballsy there. We're going for another baroche. Boom. Where are those? Forgot these are the guys that shoot out mines. It says it's right under us. Oh, there's it's for the Okay. Take that. I don't understand where this one is. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Wait. Oh, yep. Take those. Let's continue with our mission. Sorry about that. Mm. Okay. What? Yeah. It's just lithium mine at. Is it under it? Is it above us? It's on the damn screen. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. And full stop. Just approaching the Valor's position. We're on our way at full end pulse. It popped out a warp. I heard you lack torpedoes and lasers that drain your shields. The Valor's fighting back. Ooh, yeah. Take this, bitch. Go 
Gorn. The Gorn. Prepare the torpedo high yield and fire. What the hell? I didn't see those drop those. Damn. You are four kilometers away. Deliver to lithium. We're in your debt. This is enough to lithium to get our warp engines restarted. After we finish preliminary repairs, we'll set course for Starbase 157. Okay. Why did you just say it 157? If you want to go into the Pulsar Nebula, your engines will need a boost. I recommend you visit Lackey 3. The Gorn drove out the Federation miners there and took over a decalithium processing facility. It's only fair that you take some of our crystals back. Okay, okay. Let's see, Captain, we can set course to Lackey 3 at your command. Let's see, warp to Lackey 3. And boosh! The Lackey system. Let's see, Captain, the the Dicacathium processing field is dead ahead. The Gorn have number of structures in the debris field, sir. We're also picking up several fighters and frigates. They know it's Federation ter territory and they're protecting their ill-gotten gains. I advise they approach with caution. Well, let's go in there and ruin their days. Two anomalies. I see one. Let's actually go pick it up. And boom. Oh look, we got it. Hydrazine gas. Now full impulse away. Woohoo. We're coming at you like a speeding bullet. We'll take those shields. Boom, you're dead. Beam crystals aboard. Mm. Let's take those shields from you. Let's see, uh, no, is there still another anomaly in the area? Oh, yes, I see it. Scan the Mesonite Ore! Oh, 
my god. Uh, I take this and we'll warp to the next nebula. Yep. And pew! Alright, 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 alright. Hey, look, lackey system. Once again, Captain Skinner's show the amount of metallic density of the region is about higher and would be expected of the nebula of this class. There's definitely something big here and it might be hidden in another high density object. We should scan all high density, high density objects in the vicinity. Okay. Mmm, we're in mine. Is there some sort of secret base over to here? The Klingons have a listening post here. That means Klingon ships possibly cloaked. Shell jump red alert. Hmm. Scan suspicious options. Scan ruin mine. The mine has been played out and abandoned. Okay. We be taking no shields. Oh, there you are. Well, I'm currently beating everybody. I think you can survive now, itty bitty. I don't think so. Major components. This is a twenty. <laughs> this is an old. 22nd, 22nd century satellite deployed in this area. A uh, space was not well known. It's no longer opera operational. There's two anomalies in the area. The Rubium Ore. And once I get to level 10, all these items become useful. Okay. All right. Waveforms matched. A raptor escort. Ah, I see it. Okay. All right. I heard you like your shields being taken, bitch. for your shield. Oh god, mines! There's a minefield! Oh god! Fire our weapons! Scan enormous asteroid. 
Let's see, sir, we found some. The asteroid is surrounded by gravitating mines, the Klingon manufacture. What's more, there appears to be some sort of structure on the surface, and we detect several Klingon life signs within it. Uh, scan magnet, or... Uh, waveform modification. Let's beam down. Woohoo, I know it's level 10 where I get my duty officer so I can send them off and go do missions on their own, which is great. Alright. Klingons, we have to fight our way through the computer core. Uh, scan. Particle. Other way. Okay. Okay. Open fire. Did I give you a fully automatic assault rifle? If so, that is cool. Can I turn? Okay, hold on. I gotta turn this off. Notifications, display. I want to turn off uh, HUD. So, player. So, yeah, okay. Okay, I guess I don't know how to do it. Took her out. We're going in commando style. Shit, we turned them to ash. One other anomaly in there. Nice. Another. It's kind of dark in here, don't you know? Friendly fix. Healed. Okay. Take this. Oh, look. We'll take off. I may turn on hardcore mode because I know there's like a hardcore mode where uh, damage gets uh, taken to uh, the ships and we have to find components and stuff. I think that's in the options. Okay. Maybe in basic. Difficulty. Advance. Elite. Enable auto loot cursor standard. Color palette. I don't understand. Default. Color palette. Choose the palette colors of the UIs and the settings applies. Oh. Only applies to that current character. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's say we did 20th Federation. Oh, okay. Federation. Federation Classic. Oh, Federation. Okay. Okie dokie. That was weird. 
so dark in here. It's like I can't turn out the brightness because my graphics card will freak the fuck out. Oh, I have to go down. Maybe it's just how it is. Mm. Let's see. We need to upload the records to the computers for analysis, sir. It may take some time. We need to defend the core while the download's complete. Okay. Um, defend. Uh Wait, whoops. Bombos is picking up more activity. Bad doggies. Boom, to make sure they're all dead. Nice. You know, if they came from different directions at the same time, you know, that would have been a different story. Okay. See, so we downloaded the data. I recommend that the when we get the Starfleet Intelligence as soon as upon. Uh, no, no. Let's, uh, let's go to RPG mode. Oh, God. One other anomaly. Get the gas. I oh got no shit. The wrong way. Tetrazine gas. Only two. Okay, now we do the burn system. Yep, bam is up. Bam me up, Scotty. Mm. <laughs> What's funny is in games like Arcade, I may play some Arcade again, but I may do a series where, uh, you know, I just uh, uh, try to play it, you know, without well the. Oh. Starfleet will analyze the data from the listening post. With luck, there will be something there that will help us in our fight against the Klingons. Mm -hmm. I thought it was to find what the Undine were doing. Okay. Tactical beam fire at will. Continue. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You can train a bridge officer in a new skill. Bridge officers can only have one active ground skill and one active space skill per rank. To change the ability, first select the desired skill and select a new ability. Alright, well, I don't want to do that. Most training manuals can be purchased from bridge officer, training located, affiliate, or spate, blah, blah, blah. And the training bill also costs ex expertise once learned bridge officer will really know this ability. Bridge officer may also train in specialization. Uh, the bridge officer may have one specialization at a time. Oh. So. A pilot, temporal operative, intelligent command specialist. Okay. Thanks. Uh, stop the signal. We have decrypted some of the information you found at the Klingon listening post in mm. the Paulson Nebula. And Starfleet Intelligence believes there is at least one more of these posts out there. Mm. We have the location of a signal repeater which boosts the subspace transmission from these listening posts. Starfleet wants you to go to the Bomari system, find the signal repeater, and use it to track down the coordinates of the other listening post. When you have the location, transport a team down to the surface and take it out. We can provide you with spatial charges to get the job done. Can we count on you to keep Starfleet communications safe? Uh, yep. Yep, but that will be in the next episode. This video is slowly sailing to a close. If you like this video, feel free to let me know. I uh, plan to play a lot more because I'm like I'm getting back into it again. Because when I played it, when I played this, when Atari owned it, I played the shit out of it because my other character is a real admiral, 
haven't made it to their Delta DLC, anything, you know, the, the addition of DLCs or whatnot, they, or expansions they added on uh, once Perfect World took over. But I like, I like how I feel like I'm in the, like, I watched all seven seasons of Next Gen Gen Generation and some of the original series. And I may do other videos and see how, like, the other uh, factions are. But I, I'm, I'm, I feel like, I'm in like the Star Trek universe and stuff. It's like I like this because I like the TV shows. I like the TV sh the shows are cool because I'm pretty sure this Federation storyline is like maybe after Next Generation. I think. Hmm. Well, I got nothing else to say. Feel free to check out my other videos just in case you missed them. But anyway, fire the cannons!